Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Trails in Reverie Part 47. The last time we did the SSS sub story, which was a lot of fun. I kind of lost it a little bit because they kept having full length conversations with every character's eyes closed. Because now that I've noticed that, I will never not unnotice it. Now we're fighting uh, mini lapis eye. Lappy? Initiating process. Lapises? Whatever you want to call them. Oh no, dear, you're gonna buy BP. You're, you, you don't get to go instantly. I keep forgetting that has a cast, Tom. I mean, I've only used the ability like two times. You screwed me. You screwed me. I really want my BP. Oh well. I mean, I guess none of these brave boys are really that good. I mean, I guess we'll palace just because. I guess we should have sap. Well, actually, I mean, this one's maybe slightly better in this situation, just because we're not going to generate as much BP, so the extra two turns maybe matter. Uh, this boosts your speed, not your strength. Arcus, activate. Releasing output limiter. <laughs> My turn. I guess you don't really need to do that, because if you're not getting the CP out of this, this, this doesn't feel that great. Just because it's like the buff is so, like it takes a while to ramp up. <laughs> nice some balance. <laughs> I'll take care of it. Yuki doki. Now you can boost your speed. Blade of darkness. Tear them asunder. How plain. Simpleton. Oh no. My turn. Rufus, you're confusing the kids. Which I mean, I guess you're also trying to murder the kids. So, um, good job, good job. I'll take care of it. Blade of dark. You missed? No, I shall. I'll have you know he has a hit quartz. I'll have you know. Initiating releasing output limiter. Very well. I wonder, do you always immediately go afterwards? I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to be using more. Yeah, I don't want to blow it because I mean, there's going to be multiple. So we don't want to blow our CP. I'll take care of it. Cut you down. My dress is a mess. Get brigand, nerd. The doll sees all. Oh no. <laughs> Everyone's got eyes, man. No. I'll take care of it. Trails in a reverie, I'm more playing. like trails in a ivory. That hurts. My turn. But not like ivory, like I. Vary, in case you didn't get it. Very well. Get it? My dress is Because like Green's got his eye thing. She's got her eye no, thing. Everyone's always closing their damn eyes. Oh, we may as well just keep it in effect. I don't know what to do with you, man. <sighs> My turn! Strength is buffed. We might regret this, but I can't pass up the free crit when your strength is buffed. Poor thing, I've spotted you. Oh god, it's Lapis in the mirror attacking Lapis in the mirror. Oh, does that faint? That's pretty good, actually. I'll take care of it. Blade of darkness. My turn. 
Okay, now this is a good Edel. Initiating God. process. This is this is a, a dang good Edel situation. How <laughs> plain. Releasing output limiter. I shall. Okay, it seems like you always go immediately after, which is nice. Debatable. The Wait, what? I don't have this ability. Hello, anybody home? So that's Why is this Lapis stronger than you, Lapis? This is la this Lapis has got <laughs> has got the cool Hello, shit. Anybody home? So that's who I got. <laughs> what if it's like random? I'm here for you. Thank you. The, the line "That's who I got" makes it sound oh, like it's like a random attack or something. The shrink's still buff. Hello. I am Lapis. My turn. Have you guys thought about hitting uh about hitting him so that Here I go. That's the wrong move! You deserve All some right. praise. That was supposed to be heat uh I mean not heat up, uh freaking uh the the forte Wait. to refresh his strength. How plain. Because his skill doesn't work. Oh, yeah. Or it's written wrong. I think people told me that it's just written wrong. I know I'm not casting a spell with you. Slayer. I don't want to S craft because there's probably still another wave. Initiating releasing output limiter. Very well. Huh? And oh, yeah. that hurts. I am Lapis. I'll take care of it. Arcus, active. I'll take care of it. Okay, they'll, they're gonna kill themselves. <laughs> My dress is a mess. I shall. Or Lapis will kill Lapis. <laughs> Lapis can't kill Lapis because Lapis has to kill I Lapis. I am Lapis. On guard. Free BP for me. Now this should be the last wave. All right. Based on how many there are, I and mean, we could probably just double S craft and kill. But let's do some damage first. All right. <sighs> I uh. shall. Huh? And Back ten no. Yeah, yeah. Hurt him a little bit. And never mind, don't. These swords are a Would have been could have been cool if you, you hurt him a little bit first. On guard. Is he a chevalier? The best Yale? Yal Yalve? You're in need of polish. Help down! Blue dang rain! Oh, he's better here, 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 that was a little eerie. These swords are of those who lost their way. Uh, I am Lapis. Target eliminated. May we continue on? That's a lot of XP, dude. Level nine already on our courts. Wonder if even perfection can stand to improve. I presume they maybe go higher than 10. These might even go to 11. Grimoire arc. So it's magic. Because there's no randomness to it. Eh, it seems okay. But of course. It being magic feels kind of weird because you feel like more of a physical character, but... Oh, you got something new. Uh, Self buff cures Alma. Oh, yeah. Depending on the delay, that's really good. I mean, I doubt it's a it's a Lloyd banger. It's probably more like Yuna's, which is like good, but eh. Still feels kind of bad because it's got such a big delay. Thought I'd teach you to challenge the real Lapis Lozenberg. See, their appearance is the only thing you had in common. 
I profess to have no expert on doll making, but their inner workings more closely match the technology of the society's archaisms. Rosenberg Studios is indeed part of the 13 factories. But I find it difficult to believe a meister of his craft like Rosenberg would claim such slovenly work. What about you? What are you trying to say? That these aren't his work at all? They're imitations. Yeah, that dude's on vacation. He fucking bounced. He's living his best life out on the beach, finally. You know, I believe you're right. That makes much more sense. If they're able to construct imitations, it means the original data must also be here. Farther inside, I presume. What are the other kiddos doing? I mean, that was the squad that I feel like had the again. most potential to suck. Nadia and Twin should be fine. Rin Solo actually might be a little iffy if because she wasn't built for combat. I'm getting a really bad feeling about this. How wonderful it is to see you again, my masterpieces. Oh, okay. So yeah, I guess that's who we're fighting. We're fighting Gravity Lord. Or at least an imitation of him, because it's not really clear if he's alive or this is just a robot. But hey, they beat him once. Why can't what? they beat him again? This can't be real. How are you here? You're dead. Do I look dead to you? None of this makes sense. Not him being alive. Not him having all the pieces of the monarch's regalia. We scattered those as far apart from each other as we could. Now we can control gravity again. Now I do wonder about, so the, the monarch's regalia, right? They mentioned that they scattered it everywhere. Now they also, there was the talk between Sarah and Claire back in the reverie quarter. This is something I didn't really think about at the time that the fact that they remembered that means it had to have happened, like, a good bit in the past, right? Because if it happened any time recently, they shouldn't remember it. Like, any time, you know, within the last, like, week or so. And I'm trying to think, like, when, do, when does their sub-story take place? It's after the liberation, so it's during that, like, kind of, like, month period. Because presumably it, it's like a not the real monarch's regalia. I guess it's like an imitation. It doesn't really make sense they'd be able to find it immediately after they hid them. Ah, uh, yes, I will admit to requiring assistance in restoring them to their rightful owner. I mean, I guess it's possible that they were on the lookout for them, but at the same time, we don't really know like what you know, the connection to the society and the other society. From who? From the new ruler of this land, to whom I have gifted my aid. You're with the Supreme Leader? Does that go for the rest of the organization, too? I act on my own. Neither the organization nor the other overseers are part of this. <sighs> Let us not waste further time with pleasantries. That is not why I am here. Return to me. I'll see to it you face no punishment from the organization. That sounds sus. You think we'd buy that for a second? <laughs> yeah. This is not a request. It is an order. You are but tools, weapons forged and sharpened by my own hand. You even bested me, weakened though I was, and freed yourselves from the organization. Oh, this man got clown on by a teddy bear. Like... I can't be intimidated, but intimidated by him. Do not think such dazzling potential has gone unnoticed. I also would have assumed he'd be older. I feel like he got the vibe in the book that he was like an like an old dude who was like a hundred years old. So return to me, and act as my masterful tools. I shall re-educate you, make you into the perfect weapons you are destined to become. There will be no foe you cannot slay. You rose from the dead just to tell us that? Quit wasting your breath. 
We put our lives on the line to earn this freedom, and we swore we'd live like people from now on. And you think we'd go back to being tools? I'd rather die! Oh? How intriguing that you can still move with the gravity so amplified. Have you grown accustomed to its weight? You bet we have. We already know all your tricks, and we beat them once already. Don't push yourself, Nadia. I'm not. I'm fine as long as I'm with you. <laughs> Very well. Hey, can we go find a mountain real quick? Here and now. How about we educate you on what staying dead means first? We're sending you back to Gehenna, and this time you'll stay there! But yeah, so like, I don't know, because it's like, if we assume he's a fake... Here's my tools are in need of refining. Okay. If we, if we assume he's a fake, which is what, you know, kind of makes the most sense, that would mean that, like, you know, Swin and Nadia were, like, handpicked to get involved in the big experiment, which kind of makes sense, based on the whole, you know, deliver this thing to see stuff. But it's like, the question is why? Like, why are Swin and Nadia even on, like, the society's radar in the first place? I mean, you know, the real society, not their fake society that nobody cares about. How weak are you? You're really weak to wind, that shit I don't got. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I, I don't think you can really do weakness by yourself, because he's going to act too fast. I, mean, I guess we just blast you. But, oh god, I can't fucking buff arts. She can't buff her own arts, man. <sighs> I even had Fortuna on Swin, and then I unequipped it because I was like, "Well, he doesn't need to. That's what Rin's for." Fucking assholes. Huh. Okay. <sighs> Buffing. Yeah. Oh. Ready? Damage is pretty bad. <gasps> okay, well, okay. Swin looks like you're fucking up, <gasps> my dude. Ready? Target locked. Yeah. Oh. They're down. Very nice crit. Yeah. It's me. So he's doing about 5k a hit. Okay, this does buff you a little bit, but it's so expensive, man. I mean, I guess we just have to, like, let Swin do his thing. He should be functionally invincible as long as this, this is in effect. Uh, please crit. Ready? <gasps> Zoom me. Okay. Rev me. Time to settle this. <laughs> Destiny. Okay, Swin's kind of going buck wild on his ass. Yeah. No guaranteed crit. This should do a good amount of damage. Can you withstand this? Time Where'd the rocks come go. from? I mean, I get it. How shall we play? That was your thing. You shot rocks at him, but like, there's no rocks, you, you little asshole. Marcus, act yeah. <sighs> it's me. Okay, he doesn't have that much HP, so this isn't that big a deal. Okay. <sighs> yeah. How shall we play? And Swin, you know, he's he's actually kind of going a little buck wild on their ass. <sighs> Nurse Nadia here. Buffy. Now, if only you could have done that on the How shall on we the Zeril cannon. Uh, yeah. Ready? Now you can't zoom me. No zoomers. No zoom zoom. Wait. I mean, we can kill you pretty much. On it. Maybe. 
Okay, Mark. Mark double ult. Your strength. Okay, here's you Mark. Target locked. Yeah. How shall we play? You shadow Mark. step. It's me. No choice. There we go. An impressive display. I did not expect them to do 50k. What strength you gained since our last battle? Gun gear OP? Yeah, well, that's what happens when you have to keep fighting off the organization's goons. <laughs> you truly are amongst the finest materials a craftsman could dream of. I am going to enjoy... Th this is getting really old. What? Nadia? What are you going to drop the act? Act? What's that say? Voluntaria? Insania? Oh no. You must have noticed by now that something's off about him. There's all these little differences in how he fights compared to before. Like where those rocks come from? <sighs> yeah, you're right. He's a pale imitation like all the others. It's similar overall. Those little differences add up quick. It's in the slight shifts of your movements, which way you go to evade our attacks, or even the things you predict. You are not the only ones who have changed since our last encounter. In theory, shouldn't he have like 80% evasion? <laughs> I'd buy that if any of these changes made you feel stronger. I mean, I'm glad they didn't, but like, I also would, there would be like a part of me that begrudgingly respected if they gave him like 80% evasion for the lore. I would be so annoyed, but. But you don't feel stronger or weaker, and I don't get the impression you're trying to fake us out. You've changed for no reason whatsoever. What is your implication? I'll get there. There's more that throws me off. The Emperor we knew believed himself to be an absolute ruler who would cut down those daring to betray the organization. So what's with you offering to forget us doing just that if we do something for you? Since when have you shirked the organization's needs for your own wants? These aren't little things like the way you fight. These just plain aren't you. Wait, you don't mean... Yep, this isn't the same Emperor we killed. This is an extremely realistic fake. <laughs> You're the fake hedgehog. Faker. Ah, spot on! <laughs> Who are you? Why don't we leave that aside for the time being? You, young lady, have a keen mind, I must say. Few observe as well as you. <laughs> We're pros. We made sure he was deader than dead. And if he's teaming up with that fake Rufus, then him also being a fake is the most logical assumption to make. Look at you. You can not only gather the pieces, you can sift through and give a sensible analysis of them in minutes. Oh, you are a treasure. And Swin's a guy with a sword that it explodes. What say you to becoming a test subject in my next experiment? Huh? What's this guy on? Whatever it is, I want none of it. I was just thinking how I needed another biological component and you would be ideal. You... You didn't wait long after I said no to go hunting for another one, did you? Now I don't feel so special anymore. <laughs> oh, one can never have too many quality specimens. <laughs> Were you both to agree to participate, that would serve my needs well. What up is your boy Rufus? I'd rather you didn't try to poach my hired help. Thank you very much. Nadia! Swin! You got through! Rufus killed a bunch of kids. Good to see you're ah, okay. Ah, shit, not again. Ah, our star cast has reunited at last. I trust you enjoyed the uh, entertainment I provided? Professor? Hmm? Is something wrong? I tire of your interference! Because maybe now he gets a real fight. None may obstruct the re-education of my tools. Will you drop that? We already know you're not the real emperor. Yeah, but to him, he's the real emperor. Get it? 
That matters not. The original Emperor has long left this world. There are none left to claim otherwise were I to profess that I, with his power and memories, am the one true Emperor. My obsession with you two is all the proof I need to know who I am. <sighs> and it's all the proof I need to know you're a creep. S? Yeah. Let's end this. With this much backup? I can't see us losing. And if only she had her fucking eyes closed too. Oh man. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Friendship. What a delightful concept it is. Joining hands and working toward a common goal, sharing your innermost thoughts, what a charming force for good. Which is why... You have no right to experience it. That was... Ah, uh, they're fine. So you can alter your own gravity too, can you? Only humans deserve friendship. I imagine you have yet to tell your new friends how you were raised and used as tools. Or how many lives you have taken, how much blood you have spilled. I don't think any of them give a I... shit. I... <laughs> Just shut up! Do you think that pretending to be a human now will make it so. It will not. You are but weapons to kill on command, and you always will be. Nothing you do will erase what you have done. You can never be human! You do not deserve friends! Stop bullying them! I don't know if it's bully, it's more like, you know... Oh. You Psychological attacks. The subhuman tools. I'm afraid you picked the worst people to try and convince with your shameless tactics. Yeah, I mean, like, realistically, Rin and Rufus are worse than. I mean, Rin's pretty innocent, but like, I don't know. She did kind of kill people of her own volition. Now it's it's really hard to hold her accountable because of the age and the backstory, but she wasn't technically forced into murdering people for the society. At least not in the same way that Swin and Nadia were. You have no clue how bloodstained our pasts are, do you? Being an assassin is child's play compared to the many grave sins I have committed. Why well, you gotta say it like you're bragging? And I'm not even human. So what defines one or gives one value isn't even the same for me. Guys. But like, you should know that murder's bad. Did they put that in your programming, Lapis? No? Hearing this only serves to turn my stump. I have no interest in frittering away my time on none but my tools. <laughs> but if you insist on obstructing me, then I shall finish you! Take a shot every time he says tools. See if you can make it through the video you want. You're the one who's finished! Was that enough time, Nadia? Oh, yep. she, she's analyzing. Team it. She's analyzed what? him. Come on. You've got the Emperor's memories, right? You should know what my forte is. Analysis complete. She said the line. I've worked out every minute difference between you and the original, even the full extent of your artifact. We do have to try and kill him to with short, Nadia's ult. Your chances of winning just flew out the window. We got. We got to go for the lore kill. Too bad, huh? We're the only ones who get to decide how we want to live from now on. And in our new lives, there's no space for you. Fake or real, it's time we buried our past for good. What impudence. Know your place! My mana. Either, okay, 40 turns. You can temporarily use Nadia's Brave Order analysis complete. Temporarily. Okay. <laughs> Bro, something is hidden now. He's jacked. 
Very well. Does it like make you do more damage to him? Break damage? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, I mean, I guess we just go ahead and use it now. But like, Swin's gonna fucking die. Oh, I shouldn't have skipped Very it. Well. But... Swin, your ass is grass, my dude. Okay, your your defense is up at least. I mean, I guess we're just trying to heal him. Well. I'm worried he's gonna, so he did 12K. <laughs> I don't really want to s crap though, because that's not very efficient. Like damage was. Because realistically we want to like break you and then like go to town. But also I don't want Swin to die and lose all his buffs. Just don't kill him. Activate. <laughs> How shall we play? That was Pog. That was Pog. You, that was Pog. You Pogged it. And you got no mana, which uh, kind of sucks. Yeah. Huh. But all right. It. I'll take care of it. Now we can we can do shit. We can do. Ooh, you you don't do any break damage, Rufus. Blade of darkness. <laughs> Tear them asunder. Oh. How plain. Ask you for it. Ready? There's a lot of damage to do in 40 turns, even with the uh, the bonus. I mean, you're gonna crit. This does really high break damage. This. Sh I, would, I mean, it, it probably won't full out break you, but it should get you very close. Time to settle this. Ah! Oh no, you don't. They're down. Too late. Yeah, it didn't really do that much damage, if I'm being honest. Titanic ah! Back tenfold. Okay. Now you have Chevalier. Up. Thank you. It's me. Rufus should do a. A lot, a lot of damage when we ultimate. Arcus, activate. Very well. Can okay, Nadia didn't get hit? Now, if Nadia gets hit, her ass is grass. But I think I just want to go ahead and ult with Rufus now. These so we get the Chevalier damage. <laughs> <laughs> now then. I mean, you'll break. The question is, will we get any follow-up? I don't fucking know. Activating drive. Here you go. Yay! Please crit and do more damage than God himself. What? Okay. Yeah. Can we actually have a follow-up? Okay, me. this is good. We can UF into accelerate into not the greatest damage because we don't have any like offensive brave orders. Yeah, we have to do this. I think Art Me. Because we're going to be trying to cast Arts with Rin's ultimate. Now then. Okay. Now everyone but Rin goes. Welcome to my tech detox. Remember, we got to try and kill with Nadia. I don't know how feasible that's going to be since it's a special fight, but in theory, we want, we want the lore kill. No choice. Please crit. I mean, you have like a, I think a 30 to 40% crit chance. Uh, 
There we go. My turn now. Now accelerate me. Gleam! Calamity Spear! Very well. What the hell, man? <laughs> By accelerate, it didn't do shit. Come on, fuck you, man. Rufus me? So much for cast spells really fast while he's broken. I got baited. Think you can handle this. Meet your end. Oh. Arches. Too late. Oh. I'll take care of it. I didn't. I didn't go nearly as well as I would have liked. Oh. 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 That should get. Yeah, it's a pretty fat heal. No oh. problem. It's me. Well. Asshole, wind delay not fast enough. Arthas, activate. Ready? Too bad for you, but I can throw it all. On it. Target locked. <laughs> Keep at it. Too late. <laughs> Oh, don't fucking heal. Uh, if you heal, it's fucking over, but I really don't want a nemesis party, but I have to nemesis party. Okay, that's a really good crit. Time to entertain my guest. Please break. Okay, not even close. My rain is as the blade cuts. He gone. Hey, that is magic. How shall we play? Can you instant cast? I mean, this should break you. Yeah. At least with a Rufus salt on top. Rufus will die if we don't break him or impede him. Again instantly. You won't. Let's. I can't risk it in case it doesn't. Oh, fuck. You should still get delayed enough for, for Swin to go so you don't get healed. Such as you should know your oh, God. Are you going to instant get out? You did, but you still got delayed. Okay. These swords are we didn't get completely fucked. Way. CS4 would have fucked us. CS4 would have been like, he gets to instant go and get the heal, and he enhances, and he S grabs you instantly, and you die. Ready? All for one? And one call! Wasn't exactly the damage I was looking for. It's me. I really thought that'd do more. You got a crit. Swin can almost ult. He actually probably he gets what four a turn? No, just three a turn, I think. We'd have to do something that you would, like, instinct go again. Okay, we could criminals. Slayer. Since we're, we're a little flush on the How on the bee pizzle right now. Ah, oh, but no, you can't re-up it. I kind of fucked up there. Never mind, no, I didn't. So six delay is actually still fast enough. There's a decent chance you could cast something and go again instantly. I'm going to bank on that chance. Don't don't do that, please. Uh, Potion seller. I need your shortest delay, and I have acquired it. It's me. That was a bit of a gamble. Uh, technically a misplay, but unpunished, no never choice. punished. Oh. 
shall we play? If it doesn't, if he doesn't get delayed, you can ultimate. What? He got delayed. Now then. All right, your ass is almost grass. You're not really weak to anything. You do resist water. I mean, I guess in theory we'll... Well, no. Let's not waste BP. Nah, just give me the BP. Dance for me! Our chance! Too late! How shall we play? Almost got you. I mean, stats are all still fine. I'm just, I mean, th there's always a chance the S-Craft one-shots us, because without damage reduction in effect, we instant die, so we have to be careful of that. There is a chance we get the lore kill. That's really good. That's really, really good. I mean, she, we basically have, like, double bell on her with her accessory. Your mana's low. Oh, there's a there's an S-Crab. As, lo as long as he doesn't instant go and enhance. That's pretty bad for us. So he's going to enhance, presumably. Yo, is the burn going to kill him? No, he's gonna perfect. Perfect guard. Ah! The worst time for that. It's okay. We're still getting the lore kill, man. It sucks we're not getting any benefit out of the zero craft. Just to make sure Nadia's stuff doesn't wear off. So you want to do... It's guard. It's not reflect, so it doesn't really matter what you do. You just need to break it. Oh, this... Because it only blocks the first hit. This is good. It only blocks the first hit. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, because that's what we used against the Magic Knight is we did this to blow through his defense. So this will only block the first hit. I don't really know what's better, magic or darts. All for one, and one oh. for all. How about we <laughs> Okay, so that it's broke me. and did a little damage. Uh, you don't have any freaking CP, my girl. And we can't switch you out because then we won't get the fucking lore kill, man. Okay, let's start with Rufus. Well, can you reach to give him CP? Just out of curiosity? You can. But then you're losing your move. Nah. This is gonna break, 100%. I don't Jesus even need to think about it. Those who lost their way. We get a little Chevalier damage. You're in need of polish. I mean, I think it's very unlikely we don't hit the action count. I'm really more concerned on like killing him with Nadia. That did not do the damage I was expecting. I really thought that instant break him. All right, never mind. We're in a bad spot. This does do really good break damage. But my lore. But the lore. You're not statted up. I mean, if this doesn't break you, though, we lose. Which is a little scary. I mean, I think Lapis could maybe still salvage... Well, actually, no. The 100k, she couldn't salvage it. I 
That doesn't do much break damage. Should be around here. Found ya. I just believe. Ready, bear. God damn it. Oh, monarch I thought about like, I wonder if this will like miss. But I'm like, it's a magic attack. It can't miss. Me. That's really fucking annoying. That we lose just because of uh Actually, they're still Chevalier. Your time is up! Your Ragnarok! Rufus, you have Chevalier. Is that as your main? Oh, that's magic. You're a fucking idiot. You're a, you're a stupid little piece of shit. Ready? God, now we're actually not gonna win in time, though. You have to crit. To that my damage? Have you considered that you didn't do any damage? What the fuck was that? Keep her safe. He didn't do anything. Very well. He did no damage. What? What is wrong with you? Why did you do no damage? My reign is at the plate. You're the one with Chevalier main. Ah, that's so fucking annoying. Because we missed? What? It Nurse not yet here. I said, I mean, I'll keep her safe. We may as well just All right. stop My here. Me! But all right, well now we know we don't have to worry about his S craft because it's magic. My I can't. That's so annoying, man. What? Okay. I guess. I guess. Granted, the only reason we even had a good attempt in the first place is because of a miss. So I guess I can't be too mad. My turn now. I do really like this fight, though. Activate. My only so complaint is that it's a it's a fight where they want you to equip Scorpia, which is uh, something I've complained about. Should be around here. How much does this do? Would this have done enough? Maybe, because he was in his. Enhanced state, so he takes more break damage, but you also do less damage, so I don't really know if it matters. Perka. Why, thank hey. you. Yeah, you can't really zoom here. Time to settle. Ah! This one, you've got me. a crit, it's my dude. There's no gets here. I'm gone. Like, I, I just, I need you to crit. It's very important that you crit. How plain. Ask me for it. My reign is a- He's gone! Close! Keep at it! Too late! Very well. I will say, it does not feel like we're doing 700% break damage. Like, not to be a hater, but... I mean, I can't lower your stats, right? Yeah, it's not really feasible. Argus activate. No. Does Nadia ever get to go? Like she's she hasn't Keep gone yet. I'm pretty sure. How shall we? Oh yeah, we did we did do an attack with her. Also, you starting with no EP really sucks because it puts us behind the eight ball. Very well. Okay, think for a second. This will break you. Should delay you enough that then Nadia gets a zero craft, potentially. Shall we play? 
I mean, we did get like really super fucked that I did the zero cast time and then the one delay still wasn't fast enough. Can I like hurt Rufus? <laughs> Yeah, I thought you'd actually be able to S-Craft here. I thought if you were on the Zero Craft, you'd be able to do it. But I guess not. Like, you can't S-Break on the on top of the Zero Craft. I thought you could do it if you're, like, it was already one of your character's turns. I knew you couldn't do it, like, you know... Like, you couldn't interrupt the turn. I don't know. Because that was kind of my plan, was to double S-Craft with Swin. I mean, none of these really help our damage that much. What does Ren have? No, because I built Ren for fucking buffs, which is completely pointless in this fight. Slay on sight. It's me. Time to entertain. And if you're gonna ult, you always double ult, just because of the delay. Okay, that's a really good crit. I mean, I guess you have the bonus, but you don't have gun gear, so you're not doing, like, insano mode damage. It's me! Uh, I was gonna say the AT delay was great, but then it didn't fucking do anything! So then I think we, we have you Thready. Should be around. If we can just get a spell off... It would be great. Too late. All right. I'll take care of it. Yeah, we actually are kind of getting the chance to cast. Yeah, this is actually really good. We didn't get Laturbo fucked. I don't really know. I mean, I guess Swin does more damage. I think you're going to do more damage with a physical attack. Arcus, activate. Ready? I know I'd said he'd do more damage with a physical attack and then immediately did something different, but like, I don't know, man. I can't be held accountable for my actions. Rev me? Keep at it! Too late! It's me! What does, I mean, I think this, because there's a chance you can instant go again. I didn't even see that break. Uh, My turn now. We can't really make use of the zero craft. Activating drive. Yay. Ah, you're not in time. I mean, we could have almost gotten a second round of um, yeah. accelerates, but we're not going to be fast enough. No. Well, that was nothing. Huh. Do I want to S-Craft? Do I want to S-Craft? Uh, I don't know. No, I'm going to save it. No. We would get more damage if we do it while he's broken, but... How shall we play? We could do it again. Not yet. Because he's actually going to break. If we were to break him, he would break out of it instantly. We get bad timing. But we want to do some damage. It's we don't want to fully commit on breaking you. You won't kill us. Uh, that would have been so good if you cast a spell. Here you go. My reign is as the play. He's gone. My turn now. I need you to kill Rufus. I need Rufus to feel pain. Okay, there we go. 
I'll take care of it. So now we can try and get your ass. Maybe that gives 40 CP? Or... It needs to be at least 35 CP? Approximately? Because I mean, I would like Swin to ult with the crit, but I don't think that's going to happen. Probably just attack ultimate with Rufus. How shall we play? These. How shall we play? Heartless activate. Yeah. What? Okay, that worked out well. Okay. On it. Your ass should be grass this time. Okay. We didn't get completely fucked on our accelerate this time, so we're everything is super Gucci good. So you can't do a regular. Okay, if you crit, we could try and shadow step and maybe get some extra attacks in, but we'll see. Well, I mean, you're gonna unbalance, I guess. They're down. Too late. Very well. But I don't know if shadow step's worth. It's just will C slash Rufus get two attacks in. I think it's worth the gamble because Nadia should instant cast regardless. And you do no magic damage. <laughs> now then. Wide open. Too late. It's me. Heart is activated. I'll take care of it. Ah, you can't double its hit. UF attack, Brigand proc, Brigand proc. Brigand is four right now, so that would give you enough to ultimate. I think it's worth for the damage while he's broken. All for one. And one we shall end this now. Fluffy. <laughs> 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 That's really good. Be sure. And now it's kind of going to be in. <laughs> now then. Oh, I still got to do 60k. Yeah, Rin's like a super liability here other than for S-Craft. That would be 37, would be your S-Craft. Then Nadia goes. Nadia can cast a spell. That gives us another two. I th think we gotcha. This is 36. Your ult would be 37. Ha! You knew just what I wanted. Really wish you'd crit there. Slay up. It's me. No. This is uh, How could I? I was really hoping you wouldn't kill. Target down. Because if because if you hadn't a crit, we could have gotten the lore kill, man. Because that was action thirty-eight. If he barely lived. 
Nadia could... I mean, I, I would need a Zarum Powder just for the lulls. Zarum Powder, Action 39, Action 40, the bear kill. But Swin fucked it up! My lore! But of course. <laughs> it's only natural. I mean, maybe it's still lore. Swim was probably the one who stabbed him at the end. Like he, he's, he, they did the final blow together. Not much of a surprise. But it was the teddy bear that did his ass in. <laughs> the cherry on top. Even perfection can stand to improve. But no, that's a that's a really cool fight. Very, very, very cool. I cannot. Not here. I will not allow it. The only we... slight issue when? is you do have the two fights before, but the two fights before are really easy. So like, if you did feel the need to like go back and change your setup, um, it's not that big a deal because the two fights before are easy and fairly quick. So in terms of like the triple boss rushes in the series, this is not that bad. And uh, the only, I mean, it, it would be a lot easier if like we had Rin built differently. Or, you know, having Scorpio on like either Rufus or Swin would be really good. Also having Chevalier on Swin would probably, well, I mean, Chevalier would have been good there because Swin put like, was like at half HP the entire time, but I, I like the idea of it's like, it is a burst down fight, but I, they give you like extra tools for it. I don't know. I, I think it's, I just think it's kind of neat that it's a fight where you have to balance. Like you basically like can't take damage or like taking damage is weird because he's like all magic. So you can kind of nullify it and he spends most of his time broken. I don't know. I mean, I guess it is at the end of the day, it's just a burst down fight, but it, I guess it just feels better. Yeah. I didn't expect him to be a machine. Do you think the Supreme Leader is one too? I hope not. I hope he's just like a dude pretending to be a machine. Well, Rufus? Because there's still a mystery individual in the opening. Who knows? I can only at most confirm I have no long lost twin or some such thing. I mean, you don't technically know that. Your dad, he kind of got around, man. You know, maybe maybe he heard that his wife got knocked up by some other dude. And he's like, oh, I'll show her. I'll go try and recreate what he would look like with another lady. Uh... Still, some machine, huh? None of the professor's humanoid toys hold a candle to this one. Must you be so critical of my work? It's a ghost! So wait, what did she say? Critical of my work. Because that makes it sound like he didn't make this. No, it's not. Probably. Did you watch then? Enjoy the show? How could I resist the urge? And it was so very fascinating, thank you. Still, if I might offer a rebuttal to your comment, the toys you mentioned were only meant to be that. Toys. And I poured my heart into them. I could have fashioned something with a little more flair. I confess, however, that a replica of his caliber is beyond my creative expertise. Okay, so he's not the one making them. Not that I find it regrettable. I don't see any point in creating one in the first place. Hmm. We're dealing with technology even the professor can't replicate? Then... Would you be Professor F. Novartis, supervisor of the 13 factories? Oh, forgive me. Have I not introduced myself? From one evil blonde man to another, it's nice to meet you. You're right, of course. If you don't mind my adding, that uh, I am also the sixth anguish. Nobody knows what that means. Oh, I do wish we could have met earlier, but alas, the chance never presented itself during the great twilight. <laughs> Indeed. Although I much appreciated your technical support at the time. I feel like I'm going to be arrested just for listening to this. <laughs> when it was just... Rufus's Divine Knight was acting up. He sends an email to Novaris and he says, Hey, have you tried turning it on and turning it back off again? We might 
be better off not getting buddy buddy with him. No one ever is. <laughs> it is funny though, isn't it? First I aided you, and now I am aiding the other you. I hope you're not claiming to be the mastermind behind the Supreme Leader in Crossbell. You aren't, are you? Oh, don't be silly. <laughs> I have shared my technical know-how, but the rest is out of my hands. Even if I were to help, the result would be the same. They just have to put a little less back into it thanks to my assistance. Was your assistance in exchange for benefiting the Society's schemes in some manner? Oh, no, no, not at all. Well, our hand in Crossbell and Erebonia largely ended with the conclusion of the rivalries. This is me acting out of intellectual curiosity. The Grand Master has no part in this. You just do what you want, don't you? Although, I can't really talk. The heart wants what it wants, right? <laughs> oh, indeed. And you couldn't blame me with this one. I never expected someone's preferred method of contacting me to be through reverse engineering the astral code. What? How is that possible? And now you understand why I couldn't pass up this opportunity. I agreed to help for the best seat to what has yet to unfold. To summarize your position, Professor, your alignment with my replica is for personal reasons, and you have no intention of doing us harm on his behalf. Is that correct? Very succinct. I wouldn't want to interfere too much and distort the results of this experiment. Then it seems we have no problems. So, Professor, you've piqued my interest. Won't you tell us an itsy bitsy more about what has you so fascinated? I'd simply love to know. Why, gladly! It's been a long time since <laughs> something's excited me this much! Though not unlike a singularity at present, it's what comes later that will- Throw the scythe at him. Ah, no oh. careless of me. As much as I'd love to elucidate, I think I've already said too much. Oh, what a shame. Now then, I think it's time I wrap this up. Oh, uh, but what you're looking for? just so happens to be on the other side of those doors. Uh, seeing as I'm looking after Meister Rosenberg's studio in his absence, I would be a poor sport if I didn't point you in the right direction. Did he ask you to look after all these renovations you made too? <laughs> Until another day. I'm very eager to see your future accomplishments. So on the other side is... <laughs> Let's go. It's the room. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like I know this place. I, I was kind of thinking it might be the same room that you see in... Z Zero. Yeah, it's at the end. Of, you see it in Zero, right? When Rin's chilling in the the Meister's place. Are your memories starting to come back? Not quite. I don't remember being here. I just know this place. Maybe this is where you were made. So here's where our LP was born, huh? I suppose if we're going to find the data we seek anywhere, it will be here. I've never seen machines like this in my life. Yeah. I don't have the first clue on how to operate this stuff. Don't worry. You have me. If the data we want is still here, I'll restore it for us. Though to do that... In the have machine, you LP. Your mind? Yes. I'm ready. No matter what we find, it won't change who I am, right? You'll find me no matter what happens. That I will. Mind getting ready for me? All right. Uh. 
There we go. Done. How are you feeling? You didn't forget us or anything, did you? I haven't. I feel fine, and I remember you just fine. Phew. But hardly any of my memories have returned. Uh, that's not too surprising. Did we just waste our time coming here then? Oh, it wasn't a waste. My memory bank is inside of me, but it's been locked. And I know the key to unlocking it. We just need to go and see someone called Ian, Ian. and then I'll be able to remember everything. Ian? Rufus, do you, do you know Grim? You probably know Grimwood. Do I know any Ians? <laughs> if that's what we need to do, then our next destination is set. Hmm. I'm kind of. I'm. I'm interested. I don't know. Grimwood's a weird character. Um. He's. He's. He's actually maybe like the most compelling villain in Trails, but he also has like the least amount of screen time as a villain because he gets immediately sidelined by Mario Bell because uh, reasons. So I think the idea of seeing him again is cool. Oh god, he's getting back up. I mean, it's kind of weird there, but like, I, mean, I guess they didn't really establish if it's the same, if they just were able to find the regalia as soon as they hid them. Like, if they, I guess if they already had their eyes on Nadia and Swin, that's not too crazy. I guess the question is, why would they have their eyes on Nadia and Swin? I mean, I suppose... If the if I guess if the book got out, like in the society would probably have some understanding of the other society. Um I do think it's very funny that there's two secret organizations that just go call themselves like the society, but um but yeah, I mean I guess the book is what maybe got them on the radar. And so I I suppose that makes sense if they were, you know, being having their locations tracked in the lead up to the experiment that they'd be able to recover the regalia instantly as soon as they were hiding them or they could be recreations but that seems a little unlikely like I feel like that that wouldn't make sense lore wise you shouldn't just be able to make artifacts that's like you know what makes them special is that they can't be made in theory anymore but yeah, we will uh we'll call it here since we're a little over time because we had to fight Gravity Man twice because I fucking missed. Granted, we only had that attempt going because Ru um not Rufus Swin had the dodge, so you know you, the the RNG giveth the RNG taketh away. It's better to be lucky than good. Next time we'll move on to I guess Act Fours with uh I mean I guess Reen first right. I mean, there, I don't know if it's going to be like a, like, I don't know if as soon as I hit this, it takes me back to the screen to pick what act four we want to start. But I mean, I guess we'd start Reen because we did him last and he still had the, the, the most cliffhangery ending. Oh yeah. I guess if I was going to rank the routes real quick, act three is like right after beating them or relatively close to beating them. I beat Reen like last week, but, um, or his act three. Marines is definitely the best. Uh, I think the ending of, of Reens kind of carries it. I think prior to the ending, it's kind of meh. It's it's mainly carried by, like, Nord is cool. And it's cool to be back in Nord, but, like, the stuff you're doing is not that interesting. It's like, hey, fight more soldiers. Um, and then, like, the soldiers are real mad that they can't kill people, and it's just, it's not compelling in the slightest. Lloyd's route! Eh... I feel like Lloyd and C's routes were relatively similar. C kind of wins out just because I like the Lapis scene. And I think her inner tour, I mean, th there is a slight criticism of like, this is like the fourth like robot character kind of like we, we've kind of gone through this uh, person learns to be human thing multiple times in the series, both with, you know, characters like, uh, like, I mean, to it, like, Altina and Kia on, like, the actual, like, they're not technically real people side of the spectrum, but, uh, but even characters like, like, Kevin, you know, his whole arc of, like, rediscovering himself is kind of similar 
in a way. Like the whole, you know, just learning how to be human again, basically. Or learning what it means to be human and to live. It's, it's a, something that we've done, like Rin as well, kind of also has that same basic arc structure. But I still like it, and I, I enjoyed the scene there. And I, it felt more compelling to me than, like, Rufus being like, oh, why do I exist? I'm like, I don't know, man. You exist to get a fucking hobby and quit being, like, a genocidal maniac, asshole. Fucking, you, ex you, you don't need a reason to exist, you weirdo. But, uh... I feel like I guess that comes across as like more compelling when it's like an actually an artificial person compared to like a real person and it's like, ooh, I, I don't know why I exist. It's like nobody does, weirdo. That doesn't justify you doing anything. You will you will ask. But yeah. We'll uh we'll continue onward next time. I am extra cheesy eighty seven. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye guys.